Good morning and welcome. And uh, we're here with Pratish Maudia from Shop Logic. And today we're going to be discussing abstract management. So, uh, first of all, just for those that don't know exactly what that is, Pratish, could you just give me a quick summary of what abstract management is to the uninitiated? So, abstract management is um, a tool which enables you to uh, firstly submit scientific content or content that needs to be reviewed in some shape, way or form. It enables you to uh, collect this information in the system and then process it for reviewers or judges to market uh, in some shape, way or form. And there's many options in which you could do that. And that can be done in a single tier or a two tier um, marking format. And once those marks have come through, you get uh, an average score, uh, and then you, they all go into um, a pool of those that are accepted. Those are accepted as oral presentations. Those are accepted as um, poster presentations, and now more commonly known as e-poster presentations. And so once you've defined which ones are going into which sessions, you then go back and you email those individuals and tell them, yes, this is um, a an oral presentation and this is the sessions in which they're going to get that um, cool. uh, sp- speech or, yeah. or, or oral presentation and then you'll also email those ones that have the poster presentations and tell them and the e-posters you're going to go back and email them from the system saying you know you've been accepted congratulations as an e-poster click here to upload that um, and then all of that integrates into the e-poster solutions and into the, the on-site solutions and so- also into the mobile apps as well yeah. And then once you've gone through all of that process, you actually get to build the program online. And that's the amazing bit, because when you're creating that program online, you can put in you know, the starts, the ends, who's speaking, who's chairing, and then each individual can log in to the online portal and see whether they're registered, whether they're submitted an abstract, if they are a chairperson, a co-chairperson, etc., all from a single unified space. Okay. Um, and, and, and that's that's a really good platform for individuals, whereas previously they had to log into their registration with a different yeah. username and password, log into their abstract submission with a different username and password. And if you're a chair or co-chair, sometimes you didn't even get a username and password for a system. You just had an email sent to you and this was all managed in an Excel spreadsheet. So this is a really good platform to have all of that put in one space. Okay. So um, in context, I know it's... Uh, it's really important because some of these, the, the, the clinicians, the, the surgeons, it's really important to have their poster selected. So the system's got to be really slick and easy to use. Absolutely. Uh, communication's key. Um, because I've been on site and you know, we do the mobile app and we you know, have these things with the, with the posters. And those guys, if that's not right, they get pretty flipping cross. <laughs> yeah. So... Um, what have you found in terms, what, what are some of the ch- key challenges, there's probably lots, but what are the key challenges in the, um, you know, that some of your customers are experiencing or prospects are experiencing that you're coming and solving? So many of them will say, well, I have data that's here with, with, with your solution, but then the mobile app is with somebody else or the website designer is, is somebody else or... Um, you know, my registrations are with somebody else. Um, and so what we have done in, in recent years is to integrate using things called APIs, which enable system A to talk to system B, either in a single direction or in the other direction or both ways. And that's, okay. that's the best way when you're talking both ways. And the reason for that is when a change is made, let's say in abstract logic, when you're putting in the program, you make a change there, not only does it update the website in real time, it also updates the mobile app in real time as well. And that doesn't mean that you have to be dependent on three or four different organizations or individuals within those organizations. It means you do it in one place and through the API, it gets updated. And also you can have it working the opposite way. You know, so if somebody's updating their information in the mobile app or if somebody's yeah. updating their information in your website through a profile area, through your membership space, that can always link back through the API into Abstract Logic and update that information there. So you're not asking the individual to go to many different platforms to update, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, that they've just moved homes. Yeah, and exactly right, because uh, in my experience as well, some of these guys will be changing the, they'll make, they'll make changes in, had a guy just yesterday, Oh, I'll put it in PowerPoint, should it in a PDF, 
yeah. um, you know my I've got my I've got my talk in an hour um, and because the we didn't on, our, on the mobile app it wasn't API'd um, not my decision anyway so his content was just not there um, and so we uh, yeah anyway long story short but yeah API so basically disseminating that information at one point to multiple mediums and and the communication um, key in that as well. Definitely, and, and I think it's really, really important that every technology company in this events industry um, needs to be creating these APIs and needs to be talking to each other simply because our job here is that delegate experience, right? Yeah. And it's for each and every PCO, each and every event organizer to say, hey, um, I want to use C event for X, Y, Z. I want to use, um, you know, ShockLogic for X, Y, Z. I want to use CrowdComs for X, Y, Z. And it's for us to create that synergy yeah. to make sure that the end user, and that's what we do it for, right? There's always yeah. that end user who delegates like ourselves, exhibitors like ourselves here today at, at the meeting show. You know, it's for us to have that seamless journey through this an amazing experience of, of being at an event. Yeah. Well, this is the thing. I think... Um, you know, API is a term that's been kicking around for a long time, um, and technically, it's actually pretty easy. If you know, if you're using an up-to-date piece, piece of software, it's yeah. pretty straightforward. But you know, there is resistance, um, and that's probably political in terms of providers. Sometimes, I mean, where do you? Uh, from my perspective, I'd like to see everyone just adopt. You know, a common approach and say, let's just get on with it. We need yeah. to work together. We need to find the best solution for the end client. Mm. How are you finding the, uh, your dealings with API and different vendors? What are some of the challenges you're finding in doing that? Because it's not always straightforward. So, so there's, there's two main challenges. The first one is the challenge with um, the organizer themselves and sometimes the lack of knowledge that they have about what is possible with an API. Yeah. So that's our first challenge. The second challenge is understanding the requirements of, of that and, and sometimes um, you lose the communication because of the, the, the organizer themselves may not know what they want to send across and so as technology companies the mobile app teams the um, software providers for the abstract submissions uh, the website designers etc we have to be supportive not only the fact that we do these API's and, and we can do this cool stuff but also understand the overall process and that's key because every event has a different process. Mm. So as, as a company that's been around now for since 1997, uh, I've been with the company for about 11 and a half years. A lot of the times when I'm listening to our customers, it's, oh, I didn't know we could do that. Or I didn't know that that was possible. And it's for us to educate them as individual organizations because this conversation about transferring data could happen anyway. It could mm. happen at the point of creating the mobile app. And then the question is asked, hey, what about? And we're really fortunate because during the registration process, the event process, the abstract submission process, abstracts is usually one of the first things that opens up for an event when you start collecting those, right? Exactly. So at that point, we're educating many of our customers to say, hey, have you thought about when registration happens and when you get on site and your e-posters? So we're triggering those conversations really early on to make sure that the customer isn't sort of two weeks before the event thinking about the mobile app. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we want to be, we want them thinking well in advance. We want them thinking about what clients and sessions they're going to have. So when they get to that marathon meeting, which we call, which is where we assign the abstracts to sessions. This yeah. normally happens on for scientific content in a massive meeting with all the committee members, etc. And then also in the corporate world, when you're just creating the sessions, um, the non-abstract driven sessions and abstract driven sessions. Yeah. Um, and we can now do a mixture of the both. Yeah. So in a single program, you can have abstract driven sessions and non-abstract driven sessions within the same session as well. You could yeah. do that. Um, and, and many of our customers didn't know that was possible. Yeah, right. Yeah. So, you know, and, and there were processes before which were very manual orientated and now there are systems out there such as abstract logic that enable you to really simplify that process um, get the data you need into the system in an easy way and then have that data be sent to different organizations or different uh, platforms 
to be to be interconnected. Okay. Of course, ShockLogic also have mobile apps and um, online programs and, and registration software. Um, and one of the things that we spoke about during my session yesterday was, well, what if somebody has, um, what if I want for my event to have a single login area, but my registrations with C event and my uh, mobile apps are with Crowdcoms or somebody else? And and the simple answer is, it's all possible. Yeah. When a single person logs in to a unified profile, the APIs, when I click on registration, will go and talk to yeah, see yeah. event and send whatever demographic data I have to them and pre-populate the form, making that membership feeling like like really valued. Yeah. You know, you know the individual. They're not having to enter their data in again. And the same thing happens with the mobile apps. You know, if, if somebody has selected what sessions they want to go to through the registration process or even through the um, app itself, you can actually mark them and create personalized agendas within those mobile apps. So when you're using that whole platform or the suite of products, you can say, yes, I'm registering to the abstract, go into the registration process, register for the event at the early bird rate, select the sessions that you want to go to, and all of that ends up in the mobile app. So when you log in there, it knows what sessions you're interested in, it knows what abstracts you submitted, you're in the list of speakers, you're in the networking section, so you're already speaking and communicating and engaging with other participants for the event as well. So, in summary, give me three takeaway points on abstract management. Um, Content is king. Yep. Allow the submitters to be free in, in their content. Um, connect with uh, other providers if you are in contract with, with more than one supplier for your different areas of the event and ask questions about APIs. What is possible in connecting a single user profile uh, for an individual, regardless of whether the registration is with person A and abstracts with person B and mobile apps with somebody else and e-posters with somebody else. It's all possible through APIs. And thirdly, be curious. Be absolutely curious. Challenge the technology that you see every day. Challenge your internal processes that you follow. Yep. And if there is a process there, speak to the technology companies, whoever they may be, and ask them for solutions. Challenge them for solutions. We should all be here in service of others, and, and we should do that. Perfect. Well, that's a wrap. Thank you, Pratesh Moradi from Shot Logic, and talking about abstract management. Thank you. <laughs>